All right, so in this video, I'm gonna cover the age old question of, should I work on myself before dating? This is super, super common. And I'm gonna talk about where this belief comes from, um, the right way to interpret it, and then what you should actually do about it. So basically, the idea of focusing on yourself or working on yourself before dating comes from this core belief that one day, you'll magically be ready for dating. As in like, you know, you work on yourself, work on yourself, work on yourself, da 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 da, da. And once you're at a certain level, boosh, the door just opens and all these girls come through and they're just gonna find you and everything's gonna be happily ever after. And unfortunately, this is not how it works. This is kind of how society and Asian parenting makes us think it works, right? We're told that, you know, study hard, focus on school, get into a good college, get a good job, rise up the ranks, you know, once you have the house, the car, the apartment, blah, 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 the pretty girl will just be there waiting for you. Um, and a lot of guys have reached that point in their late 20s, early 30s and realized that didn't work out. Um, maybe you haven't reached there yet, in which case, you know, good, because you're about to figure out what the real way to actually you know, get a girlfriend is, okay? So basically there is no magical moment tipping point where you're just gonna be so good that the girls just throw themselves at you, okay? So, um, you know, first of all, this is basically a creative excuse to not actually go out and meet girls because if you're watching this video, chances are you actually do want a girlfriend, you want to be meeting girls, going on dates, all that good stuff, but because it's not working out, um, you're finding creative ways to, to avoid the challenge, to avoid that thing that you know you need to do. So I'm gonna go focus on myself first instead of actually you know, going for the thing that um, I actually want, which is the girls, right? Um, and then you know, the second thing is this is a entirely logical fallacy, right? Because there's a lot more to dating than just becoming a good, product so to speak let's say you spend like five years you know increasing your income your professional rank picking up new hobbies um you know getting fit blah 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 so you have all these things going for you and that's cool and all okay but there's this whole other category which is dating skills okay so you can think of it like this right imagine you spend five years building the perfect product okay you build some software or something like that and it's amazing and it's super good but you have no skills in marketing or sales so once you have this product how are you gonna get it in front of people how are you gonna make people want it how are you gonna sell it to people how are you gonna get anybody to actually buy it that's a whole other skill set and so people don't realize that you know just because you're a put-together guy you actually need dating skills such as marketing and sales to put yourself in front of women and to attract them and to talk to them and to lead them to the bedroom, lead them into a relationship. If you don't have any of that, you could be the most jacked, pretty, handsome, uh, successful, wealthy, whatever guy, and <laughs> you will not be getting any girls. So, um, you know, that's why I always tell people, you need to work on these two things simultaneously. You need to be leveling yourself up as a man and you need to be working on your dating skills such that they go together up harmoniously and one isn't severely lacking behind the other such that when, you know, as the product that you are with the dating skills that are level with that, you can already start going out with girls who you're gonna be more than happy with and they're gonna be more than happy to be with you, okay? So, you know, what's like the proper way to go about it, okay? It's like I started my dating journey you know, seriously when I was about like 22, 23. Before that, I was just experiencing failure after failure after failure. And as a 22, 23 year old, you know, I barely had my first job. Um, I was not a complete product by any means. You know, I was kind of chubby, I had acne. I didn't really know how to dress well, but um, I did, you know, want girls and I knew that I wasn't gonna take this roundabout path to getting girls. I was just gonna go straight to them and, you know, try to make it work. Um, and so the, the right way to do this is basically putting yourself out there as an imperfect product because you're always going to be imperfect. You're always going to be working on yourself to the day you die. It's not like you're going to stop going to the gym. It's not like you're going to stop rising up in rank at work. You're always going to be working on yourself. And guess what? So is she. Okay. Whichever girl you meet, 
she's also a work in progress. And the most beautiful thing is when two people meet each other and they're both works in progress at about the same level, and then they meet and then they, you know, work together and they help each other become better, right? Um, it's not like you're gonna become this perfect product one day and you're gonna meet this perfect girl one day and then you're just gonna both just stay there forever. No, you're gonna both be imperfect and both helping each other work up and up and up. And you know, you're gonna like you're gonna level up as you continue through the dating process. So that's that in and of itself is gonna make you level up. Okay, so you know, and, and the other kind of thought process guys have is like, I'm not good enough right now as I am, okay? I need to become a certain level or focus on myself until I'm good enough to enter the dating market. And that's also a fallacy um, because the thing is like, you know, if you're not meeting girls or not having success with girls right now, it's probably not because you're not doing well as, as a guy. Okay? If you're watching this already, you know, you're probably a pretty smart, um, put together Asian guy, you know, probably not working at McDonald's. If you're working at McDonald's, okay, turn off this video, go get a normal, like good, decent job. Um, but, you know, most of the guys who are out here, you know, struggling with dating are actually good put together guys, okay, who just don't know actually how to present themselves. They don't know how to market themselves. They don't know how to put themselves into the dating market and get attention from women, okay? Um, like most of the guys who I work with actually don't think they're that cool, you know? Um, they're like, Alex, I don't have that many cool hobbies. Alex, I don't do anything interesting. I don't go on crazy trips. I don't uh, like, you know, whatever, right? Um, have some, do some crazy sports or adventure or snowboarding or whatever. And it's not a problem. Literally, all you need to do is bring out the things in you that display the characteristic traits that would be attractive for women. So some of my clients have the boringest photos like cooking <laughs> or playing billiards like pool or um, like some guy is really into fixing cars and stuff and he was like, he thought that was like weird or something but we took a really sexy picture of him like fixing up his car and stuff. Um, and we brought out these like very boring traits out of them that women actually find very attractive. Okay, so it's all about the presentation of it, you know, and, and like imagine this, you know, you could be a yacht owner and have a million dollars and a sports car and have all these cool hobbies, but let's say you have no clue how to market that and your photos are awful and you bring that into the dating market, like that's gonna completely flop versus the guy who like just has a normal life but knows how to present it well in the dating market. That guy's gonna get way more attention, okay? So, you know, all of this to, to bring it back to the point that, right, um, focusing on yourself before dating is a logical fallacy because it's based on the idea that one magical day you'll be perfect and that's the day that all the girls are gonna flock to. But like I said, you're never gonna be perfect. She's never gonna be perfect, okay? And secondly, even if you get to like a really good level as a dude, um, if you don't have those dating skills, you're screwed. You know, you're literally like a product hidden on the, the darkest, deepest shelf on Walmart in the corner in, in the warehouse where nobody ever goes and you may be like the bestest, bestest product ever, but nobody is ever gonna find you and you don't know how to put yourself out there. So that's gonna be a very disappointing moment if you reach there and you're like, wow, I spent five, 10 years working on myself, but now where are the girls, right? Where are the girls? So if you're at that point right now, well, now you know why. And if you're working on yourself, hoping that the girls will just come one day, well, hopefully you see before then that that's not the case. So the, the real solution, as I kind of mentioned before, is yeah, work on yourself, be a continual work in progress. You know, since I was 22, 23, I've been working on my physique, my money, my lifestyle, my inner happiness, my communication skills, everything. But I've also been leveling up my dating skills at the same time. And at each level that I've been, I've met girls of that caliber and being able to have awesome relationships. And as I level up, I'm able to get better girls and better girls, da, 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 da. But it wasn't like all at once and then I got all the girls at once. No, it was like, I leveled up a little bit, I got some girls, I leveled up a little more, I got some more girls, da, 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 da. And I met girls who helped me level up and I helped them level up. So, 
don't be disillusioned. <laughs> don't believe in the Disney magic fairy stuff or the Asian kind of belief that you know one day it'll all be perfect. Start working on yourself and your dating skills at the same time and you can you know start going on dates and having a girlfriend right now. Okay, instead of this magic, you know, five years down the line kind of thing, you can literally have it right now.